We're going to look at knee flexion, which occurs again in the sagittal plane through the medial lateral axis, right through here, sagittal plane motion. Um, and we can flex about 140 degrees. And it is when the foot kind of goes behind you as your knee flexes. So all the muscles that will contribute to knee flexion have a posterior line of action to that knee joint center. And we can see it's the hamstring muscle group. So we had the biceps femoris on the lateral side. We have the semimembranosus and the semitendinosus on the medial side. There's the semitendinosus. We also have three other muscles that attach anterior to the knee joint, and those are the gracilis, which is on the um, in the adductor compartment. So the gracilis, the sartorius, which comes anterior but attaches posterior to the knee joint, and then the gastrocnemius muscle. One muscle posterior to the knee joint that helps with knee flexion was is the popliteus, and I didn't mention it in the previous and earlier in this video. Uh, it's a deep muscle underneath the gastrocnemius. Uh, its function is to, um, it's called the key to the knee, so it unlocks that knee joint, so it unlocks the screw home mechanism, so the knee can go from extension to flexion. Attachment points, lateral femoral condyle to the posterior surface of the tibia, and the innervation is the tibial nerve. So I just want to segue into some neural stuff and just talk about the tibial nerve. So the tibial nerve comes from the sciatic nerve. And the sciatic nerve we can see here. I'm going to change that color so we can see it better. So the sciatic nerve is this large nerve coming through the sciatic notch. And it is um, comprised of the two portions, right? And right around the knee joint, part of it becomes a tibial nerve. Part of it becomes the common fibular nerve, or sometimes called the common peroneal nerve. And the sciatic nerve comes posterior, while the femoral nerve goes anterior. So the sciatic nerve stays posterior. Um, it comes from the lumbosacral plexus. And the femoral nerve stays anterior, and the sciatic nerve goes posterior. And that is why all the anterior muscles of the thigh, our quadricep muscle group, our femoral nerve innervated, the posterior or hamstring muscle group, our sciatic nerve um, innervated. And we can kind of see this. This is a, uh, an anterior view, and you can see the femoral nerve is anterior here, right there. And then the dotted lines here are showing that the sciatic nerve runs posterior and becomes the tibial nerve and the common peroneal or the common fibular nerve. A deeper dive into our posterior knee muscles, they generate an internal knee flexor torque because the line of pull is posterior to the knee joint. These comprise the hamstring muscle groups, which we'll talk about, the sartorius, gracilis, popliteus, and gastrocnemius. So the hamstring muscle group, um, they say there's three true hamstring muscles, biceps femoris long head, which is on the lateral side, so the fibular side, and then the semitendinosus and the semimembranosus on the medial side. I always remember semimem, the two M's is the most medial, and then the semitendinosus is over the semimembranosus. Again, when we talk about muscles, remember what they have in common. Since they're posterior, they are all knee flexors, and they also attach to the ischial tuberosity, so they're posterior to the hip joint, so they are hip extensors.
They have the same innervation, the tibial nerve of the sciatic nerve. So sciatic nerve with the focus on tibial nerve. Um, and then we have the biceps femoris short head. It does not go to the ischial tuberosity. It comes off the posterior aspect of the femur um, and goes to the lateral uh, side, the fibular head. And it is innervated by the common fibular nerve or common peroneal nerve. One joint muscle, only a knee flexor. So here is the biceps femoris long head going from the ischial tuberosity down to the lateral side of the tibia and the fibula. Again, sciatic nerve, uh, tibial nerve innervation. Semitendinosis is on the medial side. Semimembranosis is on the medial side, but deep to that, both hip extensors, knee flexors, and sciatic um, the tibial portion of the sciatic nerve for innervation. Then we have three muscles that it attach posterior to the knee joint. Sartorius comes anterior off the ASIS. It's a hip flexor, but it goes posterior and um, connects, so it is a hip flexor. It also goes into the pezanserine, which is where the sartorius, the gracilis, and the semitendinosus all attach. The gracilis, which is we reviewed in the adductor muscle group of the hip, um, also goes posterior line of action um, of the knee joint, so it is a knee flexor. And then we have the popliteus, this little muscle coming off the lateral condyle of the tibia, or of the femur, excuse me, to the tibia, and it is uh, the unlocker of the knee, if you will. In this section, we also add the gastrocnemius, because even though we think about it as a strong plantar flexor of the ankle joint, it crosses the knee joint posteriorly, and so it contributes to knee flexion.